Hello, sweet souls. Happy Saturday, February 18th. This will be your full length reading on TikTok and YouTube. If I exceed the 10 minutes, follow me on YouTube. Um, you know all my announcements. If you'd like to schedule a private reading, follow the scheduling app for the video read. Send me an email. It's one subject for $50. I'm partnering with Keen. I'll add the link if you're interested. I'm not yet a reader, so you won't find me on there at this time, but um, they're running a special for new time vis uh, first time visitors, $1.99 for the first 10 minutes. We're gonna call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're gonna call on the Holy Spirit, angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for our greater good. So I pulled from my new deck here. I don't even remember the name of this deck, but um, I got the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands talks about this is a twin flame soulmate. This is stability. Uh, so for many of you, you're calling in a union, okay? You're calling in a union. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get these cards up. And then you have someone in conflict, someone in a mental conflict, because this is a karmic that's still attached to your energy that tries to use manipulation. They're trying to manipulate. They're trying to think of a way that they can get back into your energy. Um, they want to reunite, co-create. They want to work with you. But here's the thing. This person is someone that likes to leave their options open and God is blocking this person. You are protected from this person because God already knows who this person is and what this person has done to you. You're the high priestess. You know the pain that you went through with this karmic that's attached to your energy. They want to communicate. But I, when the six of, of wands came out, um, which in you know, the Six of Wands talks about victory. What I heard is they want to communicate, but you're already gone. You're on your horse riding into victory, okay? And that's justice. That's justice for you. We also got the judgment card here. I said, well, what is this judgment? What is this good karma that's coming in for you? And what came out is you have this King of Pentacles, someone that's very grounded and stable. And you will work with this person. You will plant seeds. You will plan for the future with this person. You are the Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy, you don't have to be that sign. A divine union. You're focused on a divine union that you're in or will be in. The will of fortune. You are fated. You are meant, destined to be with this person. Okay? Two of cups. They are a soulmate. Then I got the person that was picking up on their energy here that's trying to, that's in conflict, wanting to manipulate their way back in. It's a king of swords. It doesn't have to be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It's just somebody that's very cold and detached. Um, but this person is recognizing, realizing five of wands and reverse. They cannot bring chaos and conflict to you no matter what they do. Because like I said, you're already gone. The chariot, moving on to victory. You have peace in your life now. You know, eight of cups. This is... <sighs> You had to walk away from this person based on their own actions, putting you in a third party situation, causing you great pain. But when you walked away, you went from the Eight of Cups to the Ten of Cups. You found emotional fulfillment. You found happiness for the first time probably ever. You never had this happiness with this person. So it was a blessing for you. For If this person betrayed you, it was a blessing because now you, you have a life that you didn't have before. You're happy now. So I want to clarify, um, let's see, what are the actions of this King of Swords? What actions will this King of Swords take? What action will this King of Swords take? Again, look, so they want to move towards you with the Six of Swords here to try and bring some sort of peace into your relationship, but they're being blocked. God's not, God is not, God is, it came out like this. God is blocking this person from coming into your life. What else do you want to tell me about the King of Swords? What are the intentions of the King of Swords? They're a player, low vibe energy. What are the intentions? They're playing the victim. What are the intentions? Or they want to put you in the victim mode well, I'm going to tell you right now, if this person tries to come back in and interfere with your life, trying to give you a false offer, they're going to be hit with a tower because God's not playing around with this person anymore. This person has done enough damage and now it's time for them to sit in the energy of what they put out. What else do we need to know about the King of Swords? 
Yeah, see, here's the thing. This person wants to ride in with all this passion because they see you are the Ten of Pentacles. You are the stability. And that's why it's all money-driven. This is money-driven. This person wants to have access to your money. They see you're loving, you're kind, you're empathetic, and they think they can play on your heartstrings. Wow, yeah, to come back in and collaborate with you. But justice is here. They're being hit by karma. You're receiving good karma. They don't want the cycle to end and they're filled with anxiety. Yeah, there he is. A liar, too. He's a liar. Now he's going through the heartbreak he caused you. He may be getting cheated on, betrayed, used financially, whatever. You are in a relationship, or will be, that's equal give and take. A twin flame soulmate, soulmate energy here. Yeah. You know, you closed out that cycle with that pain and you leveled up. You are the queen of wands. Very passionate and driven. Yeah, you're making plans for the future. You know that what's coming in for you is far greater than what you experienced. And you're not putting any more energy into someone that has treated you foolishly. Yeah, so these all came out sideways. The high priestess to the eight of swords to the strength. This could be somebody that has um, Leo placements, but this person didn't listen to their intuition and all it did is get them stuck. Yeah. Lies and secrets are being revealed. Things are being illuminated in regards to this emperor energy. The truth is coming out. The truth is coming out. This person's being exposed. Yeah, they have people watching them. They're also watching you. Yeah, you know, this person didn't take any action to be accountable to the Queen of Pentacles. That They just tried to bring chaos and conflict into the Queen of Pentacles' life. And, okay, I want to see what this is. Who is this, who is this Queen of Swords? 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 Okay, so this King of Swords sideways went to a Queen of Swords sideways, someone that was just as deceptive. It wasn't a wish fulfillment. They see you having emotional fulfillment, staying to yourself, being happy, and they feel abandoned or rejected now. So they put you in a third party situation, cheated, lied, whatever, went to someone else just to find out that, oh, I made a mistake and now they want to swing back around. That's what I'm getting. Ugh. But you're on to this, this deceiver. You're on to their games and you don't want to have anything to do with them. Yeah, could have been fire placement, king of wands that juggles. You are receiving balance. The universe, angel, saint, Saint Michael is restoring balance in your life and you're on a new path that you manifested. It brings in happiness, okay? That's awesome. That's what you deserve. Don't look back. People always ask me, you know, when if somebody from the past returns? Well, God doesn't take people out of your life that are meant to be in your life. God only removes people that are unhealed, that have caused you know, chaos and conflict, pain, deception, people that haven't done the work, you know? He doesn't take them out for you to allow them to come back in. Then you would just repeat a karmic cycle. Okay, what do we need to know? Yeah, people out there that did you wrong are seeing that you're the star. You are the light of God. You are the blessing. And now you are the missed opportunity. Yeah, they're wanting to rush in. They see you're happy. You're in the sun, energy, successful. Things are going right for you. You're making plans for the future. You're celebrating, you're happy. You're empowered. We have this King of Wands here. It's almost like this person, God is asking them to transform their life. You know, 
you are the magician and you create whatever it is you desire with God and this person is watching it. Yeah, God's trying to guide this person to transform, to change their evil ways. Yeah, they're trapped because they see that you went through an awakening and your life has gotten better. You have peace in your life. Your creative endeavors are flourishing. You're gaining more financially. You have or will have a twin flame soulmate, a stability, a stable foundation. And then this person is in heartbreak because they didn't see that you were the star. They didn't want to see that. They thought the grass was greener is what I'm getting. This comes out a lot, you know. You are being blessed with someone. Look at this. King to the Queen of Cups. Someone that will honor and love you. Okay? Someone that will show emotion. Someone that will truly love you. And that's the truth. Look at this. And you're the, in the energy of just releasing the past. Reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness. And you're heading in a new direction. You already have the clarity on your life purpose. In your heart, you know what to do. You're just keeping it moving. Trusting in God. Yeah, when this love offer comes in, it will lead to victory, guys. If you haven't met this person yet, spirit is bringing this person into your life, and it's going to lead to victory. You know, this past person has tried to block you, block your career and finance, block you helping others in your community. They've tried to slander you. They've tried to attack your character. This is devil energy. God doesn't want you to worry about this. You are protected from this person. The angel of God, again, restoring balance. There's nothing that anyone can do to interfere. Look, making unwise choices, trying to get away with it. They lack integrity. But God's taking care of this situation, so don't worry. Yeah, what's coming in quick for you is financial gain. Because of who you are, all that you've put out in this world. Also, divine love. Financial gain and divine love. These are the seeds that you've planted. This is what you've manifested. But you have to walk away from past people. People, places, or things that no longer serve you so, so these new opportunities can come in, okay? You will call in a divine emperor or empress, and that's justice. It leads to the Ten of Pentacles, generational wealth. Okay, guys, this is the reading I have for you. I love you. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.